and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. At one point, there were two kingdoms, one from the north which had ten tribes and two southern ones. To understand Ezekiel's prophecy, we need to go back to the reign of Solomon. Solomon was known for his unwavering wisdom given by the Most High. However, at one point, he went after many foreign wives which led him to worshipping different deities. From that time on, the Most High vowed to divide the nation of Jacob or Israel, one hailing from the north that is Ephraim, and Judah to the south. This is evident in 1 Kings 11.11. 11. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and will give it to thy servant. Notwithstanding in thy days, I will not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rend it out of the hand of thy son. Although I will not rend away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David my servant's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, which I have chosen. Jacob has undergone slavery for several periods throughout history. This can be proven beginning with the words of the Most High in Deuteronomy 28, 68, And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Ezekiel's prophecy and the two sticks shall be one. Ezekiel the 37 verse 15 to 28. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it, for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel and his companions and join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God, and David my servant shall be king over them. They all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince for ever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, it shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them for evermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I the Most High do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them for evermore. We also see that after their slavery or punishment is over, they will come out with great substance. This is evident in Genesis 15, verse 13 to 14. And he said unto Abram, Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them. 
and they shall afflict them four hundred years, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. Deuteronomy 17 verse 15 and chapter 28 verse 36, Isaiah chapter 11 verses 11 to 16. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Most High shall set his hand again the second time and recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, Egypt, Pathros, Cush, Elam, Shinar, and Hamath, and the islands of the sea. The Most High will gather his remnant or his people from the four corners of the earth, including all the islands of the sea. With a mighty and outstretched hand will he draw them and gather them. Tell us what you think in the comments section. We are interested in hearing your thoughts. Thank you for watching.